so hello strategic alpha community members i welcome you to yet another super interesting session and today we are going to talk about care ratings recently it has rebranded itself and it is called as care edge now and we'll be talking about fundamental analysis of care ratings limited so why i am saying that it is the bet on upcoming credit up cycle so we'll be talking about that today so let us go forward and uh, understand the case of care ratings limited even before we going forward and uh, understanding the fundamental analysis for care rating we'll just first understand this concept price value mismatch so like why it is very much important to understand this concept to generate alpha we'll be talking about that this is a chart of group means top grade quality company and second grade quality company in the same sector and how if you are able to buy them at right valuations how second grade companies can generate alpha uh, that is what this chart tells about so these are the share prices of stocks like krisil care marico bajaj consumer tcs eclerc page industries and ambika cotton and the source of this data is equity master i have taken this data from equity master and i have cross checked cross verified myself but this is uh, the data which they shared in one of the report in one of uh, the youtube video uh, from that i have taken this chart so why it is very much important to buy something at a value you will be getting a clear understanding after this explanation so there are this one column is the p ratio of the stocks and second column is return generated so this is p ratio as on march 31st 2020 and this is return generated from march 31st 2020 until last year one year return this is one year return of the same stocks which means that 2020 to 2021 comparison they have made here so group number 1 is krisil and care rating so they krisil is a leader undoubtedly the leader in the same segment in on as on march 31st 2020 it was trading at the valuations of 25 times as compared with care ratings which was trading at 11.8 times and krisil has generated 126% return in one year and care ratings has generated 122% returns marico was trading at 35 times valuations 35 times earning multiple and it has given 87% returns bajaj consumer care which was not so popular name and uh, not so popular name among all the investors and it was not a hot favorite stock of all the analysts it was trading at a cheap valuation of 10.6 times and it has generated 120% returns since the lows tcs which was trading at uh, 20 times multiple compared with eclerks which was trading at 6.5 times multiples TCS has generated 81% returns and Eclerc has generated 388% returns. Page Industries, which was trading at 55 times valuations, Ambika Cotton, which is not of that great quality like Page Industry, was trading at a cheap valuation of 5.8 times price earning multiple. It has generated 117% return. So what it says is, being a value investor, what our main objective is. to get better risk adjusted return and which can a decision which can take and make us higher alpha than the market returns it's on your own choice what you can choose like uh, someone can choose care someone can choose crisil it's their own choice but be me being a value investor uh, i try to look at price value mismatch and that has been my style and that is what i teach in our mentorship program because having price value mismatch gives you margin of safety having price value mismatch it can generate higher returns but the key challenge while following this style of investment is getting at the right valuation and getting at the right entry point and that's why it becomes very important to blend fundamentals value triggers and technicals combined together to get a better entry point if you are able to get a better entry point we can generate higher returns than the leader and that's what we teach here in strategic alpha mentorship program so we have to get a price better price value mismatch so that we can generate higher alpha so it's like there might be iphone and there might be one more mobile 
which has all the features of that iPhone, which you may be getting at 50% discount. So iPhone may be, uh, you, you may be getting at 120,000, but the same features, everything which you might get in, in OnePlus or some other name, you might get it in 80,000. So it's your own choice. Like people might want to own a branded iPhone. They might go and choose a category companies, but the people who are value conscious, who are price conscious, and want to get the same benefit will choose second number like one plus as i told so it, it makes no difference in terms of returns in fact in second grade companies if we get a better valuation we can generate higher alpha even than the leader so this is what i wanted to share with you because that is what we have been doing uh, since long and that is the reason why we have chosen today care ratings limited because there are, the leader is Chrysil, number two company is Ikra and Care, Care, which was earlier a number two company, it has slipped down to number three company in terms of revenues from uh, rating uh, business. Ikra has gone up in terms of business volumes and there are reasons for that, What why it happened. But today at this stage, we are talking about Care ratings and which gives us better price value mismatch for the same outcome which may, we might get probabilistically. So let us talk about care rating. So care rating is a credit rating agency of India. The company provides various credit rating that helps corporate to raise capital for their various requirements and assist the investors to form an informed investment decision based on risk credit, credit risk and their own risk return expectations. So what are the numbers? Numbers the latest. Let us talk about the numbers. Care ratings. Now, today's price is 448. Market cap, it is trading at 1,328 crore. Current market price is 448. Book value is 218 rupees. Return on equity is 12.4%. Return on capital employed is 16.3%. Market cap to sales ratio is 5.36. Debt to equity, it's a, it's a debt free cash rich company. Operating profit margins company, uh, all the credit rating agencies enjoy high operating profit margins. So it's a high margin business. Company is having a resource of 618 crore. There are no identifiable promoters here because credit rating businesses most of the times will be owned by multiple names like uh, banks might own it. Some of the financial institutions might own it. So there is no clearly identifiable promoter here. Even in case of LNT, there are no promoters. So it's a professionally managed company. So total assets of 777 crore. Free cash flow of past five years is 408 crore. Book value 10 years back was 149. Cash and cash equivalents is 440 crores. I'll be talking about that. Uh, I'll be showing you that number. So cash and cash equivalent because they have categorically put it in into uh, other financial assets. That's why it is just showing 82 crores cash and cash equivalent, but it is 440 crores when we look at the numbers and uh, the latest quarter presentation which they have given. So from the price front, it is trading at nine year low. January 2013 was when it was trading at 544 and right now it is trading at 443, 448, something like that. So it is trading at near nine to 10 year low. It's a debt-free company, as I said, cash-rich company. They are doing a sales of 248 crore as on today. 2018 was, that was the time they were doing a peak revenues of 333 crores. And post that, we have seen a crisis in care ratings business because they were responsible for island FS crisis. And there has been reputational damage because of which they have lost the market share in the previous years, three to four years. And they were doing a pat of 162 crores. Right now, they are doing a pat of 75 crores. When, uh, if you just see the expenses, the employee cost for the company since 2018 has gone up because when there is a reputational damage uh, and you have to continue your business, what you need to do is you have to maintain your human capital in those times. And on the other hand, business is not growing at that pace. What the employee cost is growing and that is the reason why the employee cost has grown from 33 percent to 51 percent today but as i said because of reputational damage company has lost some market share and they were not able to do the revenues on a similar growth trajectory like what chrysal had did and uh, what ikra has done over the past three to four years 
so this has been the case operating profit margins currently is at 32% net profit they are generating 75 crores even after reputational damage still they are doing a net profit of 75 crores and it's a cash generating business i'll be talking about that uh, when we will be talking about positives about this company reserves are at 618 crores cash flows it's a cash generating company so fi holds around 17% stake fi's earlier they were holding 47% stake currently they are owning 17% stake most of the fi's have sold post that uh, island fs crisis and uh, many fi's have ex exited this company lot of di's once again have exited but one of the di which is nippon india mutual fund has increased their stake from 1.5% to 1.86% in march quarter and in the recent quarter they have taken their stake from 1.86% to 8.75% which is which is huge owning close to 9% of the company uh, nippon india mutual fund public crisil is one of the shareholder which owns 8.885% one more washing fund fund which owns 3% stake so these are all the uh, shareholders of care ratings so this was all about the numbers now let us go forward and understand about interesting information so company holds 440 crores of cash on its balance sheet Com for a company which is now trading at a market cap of 1328 crore having a cash and cash equivalents or cash balance of 440 crore is huge almost it is like uh, they can uh, buy back 30% of their company so nippon india has picked up 8.75% stake in care ratings up from 1.86% in march quarter company has recently initiated a buyback with a cash of 440 crores literally they can buy 30% of the company but uh, they might not do that whole but there will be some buyback we will be getting that clarity in the times to come it operates in oligopolistic market oligopolistic there are different types of uh, market like monopoly duopoly oligopoly monopoly means single business controlling major market share uh, then duopoly means minimum two players are controlling the overall market and oligopoly means more than duopoly means three or four so it operates in oligopolistic market where uh there are not more uh, credit trading agencies in the country like topmost is crisil then comes ikra then comes care then comes uh, india rating agencies there is one more brickwork but most of the business is among top 3 care rating is the third largest uh, credit trading agency after crisil and ikra in terms of revenue and market share so interesting information as i said that they were responsible for ilnfs scam and care rating care rating was one that allowed island fs to shop the ratings from for its various debt profiles and below are some of the articles related to island fs scam so it is money life article uh, which says that island fs defaults on 1000 crore short term loan from sibbi so this is the article which they have posted and the reason for that was care rating because there was a shopping of ratings and care rating was responsible for that there is one more scam which happened means uh, the same scam this is one more article about the scam scam so sebi start adjudication against credit rating agencies and after this they have penalized the credit rating agencies they have penalized care rating in particular so sebi slaps 25 lakh rupees fine each on ikra and care rating and india rating so care rating was the major reason for that island fs crisis so why i am saying this is because credit rating agency is such a business that no matter what happens because they are responsible people might uh, argue that uh, why we are studying a company where there was a reputational damage already why we are studying a company where already lot of things have turned bad for that company so i'll give you one perspective on that people might uh, say that they are responsible for financial crisis but and that is the true reality if you see 2008 times snp global and credit rating agencies in us were responsible for the whole subprime crisis which happened in us and over the years if you see the history of past 100 years you'll see that most of the crisis 
happens because of rating agencies and because of rating shopping but although all that happens ultimately what happens is at a later stage a regulator finds these businesses and business goes on and what that is what has happened with snp global that is what has happened with uh, the top notch credit rating agencies in 2008 in us and post that the stocks have went up 10x so i'll be showing that chart now so credit rating agencies are the ones behind every nation's financial crisis if we look into us too without hand holding of credit rating agencies subprime crisis would have never happened but as a definition of credit rating says it is an opinion and as the opinion co- can go wrong here there is nothing much can be done apart from slashing some hefty penalties on credit rating agencies and uh, business goes on credit rating agencies are an important part of nation's financial infrastructure and it is not possible to take severe action and close down these businesses so now let us took take a look what happened with credit rating agencies in us so i had written a detailed blog on care ratings 2 years back i'll be showing what happened with those companies so the indisputable role of credit rating agencies in 2008 collapse and why nothing has changed so there is a article you can go through this article the link of this article i'll be sharing just on your te- on the telegram channel and if you are watching this on youtube i'll be sharing the article link in the description so you can go through this you'll be able to understand even after 2008 collapse why nothing has changed for credit rating agencies so for their mistake rating agencies were penalized like uh, moody's was penalized for 824 million for rating shopping 864 million penalty for ratings in run up for 2008 financial crisis moody's was slashed with fines then uh, there is one more news article which shows snp to pay 1.4 billion dollars to regulator in subprime uh, crisis so they they get penalized but let us see what happened later so even whether it is eurozone crisis or subprime crisis rating agencies are criticized and penalized but as said the business goes on now let us look at what happened to the stocks of rating agencies in us after 2008 collapse and all those were accused of rating shopping so moody's share price moody's share price went up 10x in 10 years more than 10x in 10 years and this is us if the stock in us goes up 10x in india as there is a high possibility that the stock might move 15x or 20x because the growth trajectory where we are in it is at that stage where us was in 1970 but even after 2008 crisis the stock came down like 65 70% for moody's and since then the stock went up 10x more than 10x for moody's snp global the stock was down 65% from the recent top the stock went up from 20 dollars to 294 dollars which is 15x in 10 years uh, this is the point which i would uh, i wanted to tell you that buying a troubled uh, rating agency is a bet on variant perception because people might be having va- various perceptions about this company uh, and that is the reason why the stock has got hammered from 1600 odd levels to as low as 400 odd levels but there is always light at the end of the tunnel because if we look at the financial risk profile it's a debt free cash rich company and it's a company which is still working and having all good practices of analytics and all those practices which can take it to the earlier glories so let us go forward and understand so what are the positives about this company so beauty of this business model is that it doesn't require any capex to grow the revenues they all they have to do is and hire an mba pay him million rupees and do a business of billion rupees because uh, the rating agency company most of the capital is human capital they just have to hire an I- mba from iams and pay him million rupees and do a business of billion rupees this is a business model which i like the most because uh, you won't get such business anywhere uh, wherein uh, you are hiring an mba and doing a business of billion rupees it's it's a great business the economics of the business are very uh, great it's a high margin business typically margins of credit rating agencies around the world are in the north of 50% and hardly we find any business with such margins so because even in the past we have seen care ratings making a margin of anywhere between 50 to 55% debt free status 
care rating enjoys debt free status which makes this company a money making machine with no outgoes on interest because even in this after this uh, reputational damage still they are able to do a profit of 75 crores so it's a cash generating machine money making machine so it's a cash rich company care ratings has cash and cash equivalents of 440 crore which includes investment done in mutual funds cash at bank and bank deposits stock is trading near 213 valuations thanks to variant perception about this company because a lot of people have different perceptions about this and that is the reason why uh, it has collapsed and that is why nippon was able to grab that stake at low valuations because they are seeing that this is a temporary phenomenon if you look it at a decadal bit so negatives risk and monetarables what are these so what are the negatives credit rating can only generate business and they can only generate good profits if they receives fees for each rating for from the debt issuer recently some uh, one year or one and a half year back regulators were thinking of a business model where credit rating agencies will receives fees from the investors or a bankers who need credit ratings not the company who will be paying right now it is if you want a rating from rating agencies a company needs to pay that so if that happens when investors have to pay even it is in that case when bankers have to pay still it is okay but when the investors need to pay it becomes a jittery part because uh, that is when this whole business model we don't know how it will evolve so there might be an uncertainty when this regulators take it seriously but they were just talking about that they have not taken any steps after that but the change in the business model may work or may not work for the rating agencies so we must, that becomes a key monetarable in the recent ilfs fiasco care has faced reputational damage if not handled properly by the company that they may lose share to the competitors crisil and ikra business of credit rating agencies flourish only if there are more debt issuances in the country since the past 10 years credit growth has been at the slowest pace if this continues to deteriorate further then the environment would not be good for rating business because if they have to make money the companies have to first apply for ratings and then they will be able to take the loans but if the companies are not expanding their capacities they won't need ratings and at that stage there won't be any business for rating agencies so that's why looking at this part is very much important and past 10 years Uh, we have seen sluggish growth in credit uh, issuances rating business is a bet on macro economy doing well extreme slowdown in the economy and recession where our country will not come out for the next 5 10 years would affect the rating business at a heavy level so company spends heavily in its human capital compared to all other rating agencies it needs to do a proper capacity utilization it needs to use this human capital well and that becomes a key monetarable a uh, company has recently shown 440 worth of cash and cash equivalents into other financial assets so need to wait for the annual report to get more clarity on it because in the recent quarterly results they have just shown it as in other financial assets so what are those other uh, financial assets only that we will be getting that clarity only when the annual reports is published uh, we might get it in 2 to 3 months care rating is a debt bet on debt issuances in the recent times and this becomes an antithesis actually because i am betting on care rating the reason for that is i am seeing that credit up cycle has started for the banks most of the companies have started expanding their capacities and that is why i am looking at two companies one is canara bank and second is care ratings but at the same point of time there is one more there is a antithesis to this whole thesis care rating is a bet on debt issuances however in the recent times most companies have turned debt free they have turned debt light and they are doing most of the companies are trying to do the capex from internal accruals so if that happens there is a uncertainty how the credit play will play out we don't know what are the other companies because at the first stage first debt free and cash and debt light companies start their capex at a later stage there are companies which might take debt from the banks and to expand their capacities at a later stage they have to take debt because they are in this deep uh, investment cycle so there are three phases for this credit cycle which will happen over the next 5 to 7 years in the first stage and second stage and third stage so it is how uncertain how 
totally the credit play will play out but uh, so this becomes an antithesis and we need to monitor if lot of companies at the first stage itself goes expansion from internal cash accruals because i have seen some of the companies going for that if most of the companies over the next 6 8 months will get that clarity and if most of the companies of 80 85% of the companies have gone th- for expansion from their internal cash flows uh, then we have to uh, take a call according to that so it becomes a key monitorable for credit rating agencies so my take is rating business is such a great business to own because of its various aspects like no need of capex high margin business knowledge based business which needs only human capital smart mbas guys are in uh, plenty in india employed at 1 million rupees per annum and responsible for billion rupees of revenues great business dynamics and that's why i like the business the most for me care is a cash generating machine having no debt on its balance sheet cash and cash equivalent of 400 crores at a 1300 crore market cap deducting for cash business is available at a dirt cheap valuation of 850 crores with peers trading at 40 times multi per care trading at sub 18 pe provide sufficient margin of safety in its valuation looking at the next decade where it, india itself is at an inflection point credit growth of over 6 to 8% is not beyond imagination with such an environment credit rating agencies are here to flourish so click care is thus a not so obvious potential wealth compounder for the decade to 2020 to 2030 so this was all about fundamental analysis of care ratings and uh, this comes to an end to this fundamental analysis of care ratings hope you have liked it and uh, thank you for attending this session and don't f- uh, forget to follow us on our social media handles for the dose of knowledge wisdom and ideas they are available on facebook youtube instagram twitter and most importantly the blog i've been writing this blog for the past 4 years now most i have written around 140 blogs till now uh, most of them are insightful which will help you understand stock markets and value investing case studies and analysis in a simple manner and one more announcement which i have to make is i regularly take techno value investing workshop so what is techno value investing as i said that lot of people are just fundamental investors i too was a blind fundamentalist so what techno value investing means i have turned from a blind fundamental investor to a techno value investor so what techno value investing means so as i say that fundamentals will tell you what to buy value will tell you how much to buy technicals will tell you when to buy or when to sell and triggers will help you prioritize between the bets because there might be 10 15 stocks but what stock to choose trigger will help you prioritize between the bets so this is a holistic approach which we follow and which we teach in our mentorship program so that's why i have designed a 3 hour workshop on techno value investing and this i take usually on sundays so link of that workshop is given in the description below you can register for that link i'll be seeing you live in that workshop so thank you everyone to attend this session till the end thank you